What's going on YouTube? It's me, Deb Connor, and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to be describing how you can get a great workout in anywhere you are. Right now, I'm on my bedroom floor. We're going to go ahead and do a push workout, which means we're going to be working out our chest, our triceps, and our shoulders, all the pushing muscles involved in pushing. And yeah, this is going to be mostly a horizontal push workout. I want to thank Damien from the channel Monkey Fist for allowing me to collab with him. I really appreciate it. He's a really awesome dude. He's an awesome channel. So yeah, thank you Damien for letting me collab with you. We're gonna start off this workout with some pseudo planche push-ups, which if you don't know what a pseudo planche push-up is, is basically a regular push-up, but you're pushing from your hips, which means you're pushing more from your the center of your mass, and that means you're pushing more of your body weight. So yeah, it's a lot harder than regular push-ups. So if you can't do pseudo planche push-ups, go ahead and just do regular push-ups. And if you can't do regular push-ups, just do push-ups on your knees. But yeah, we're gonna do 10 pseudo planche push-ups. All right, we're done with those 10 pseudo planche push-ups. The next push-up we're gonna move on to is called dive bomber push-ups. I learned this push-up from Athlean X. If you don't know who he is, he's a really good fitness channel. Uh, he's a fitness YouTuber. Hopefully my hair doesn't get messed up because I have to go to work after this. But basically, you just wanna get in a push-up position like this. Uh, straighten out your back and your legs. And then you wanna just go down like this, push up, and there you go. Those are dive bomber push ups. Uh, we're gonna do 10 of these, and uh, yeah, let's get 10 of these dive bomber push ups. I know I definitely feel the burn at this point. The next push up we're gonna be doing is, uh, well actually, I'll show you right here on my bed. I'm gonna do some uh, dips. I don't have dip bars, so I'm just gonna do dips, like bend back like this. And yes, of course, we're gonna do 10 of them. Uh, a thing with me, you realize I like to do 10 a lot. I don't know, I just feel like it's a perfect balance between strength and hypertrophy, and that's what I like. But if, if you find this workout too easy, you can of course increase the reps, or if you find it too hard, you can decrease the reps. It's all up to you. The thing with all of these exercises is you really wanna contract, like if I'm right here, you really wanna like imagine your elbow uh, almost bending past here. Of course, that's not gonna happen unless you're some insane gymnast. I've seen some of them gymnasts uh, their arms can like literally just bend that way. I don't know how, but <laughs> whatever. We're not gymnasts here. So we're gonna do 10 of these and try to contract the best we can. All right, so we're done with 10 of those. Next exercise, I'm gonna call, I'm just gonna call these bodyweight headbangers uh because you can get a dumbbell uh if you're into weightlifting you can get a dumbbell and just do this with it that's called a head banger but we're going to do a body weight version of it and it's basically how you think it's probably going to be you just lean your weight against here and uh the lower it is the harder it gets so you want to just bend and uh you, want, you really want to focus on the eccentric. The eccentric po portion would be like this. When I'm lowering, you want to have that time under tension and go slowly, and then you can come back up. And yeah, of course, we're going to do 10 of these. What you want to do is you want to do four sets of these. I usually do four sets of every workout I do. Um, I would have like different exercises for 
for you to select if I had like dip bars or if I was at the park or something I would definitely be doing more exercises but this should hit like every muscle you can uh, one more exercise I will add on to this is if you can handle it well if you could handle it I would do a uh, handstand push-ups on this wall right here I can't like straight up balance my hands yet I'm working on it but you can definitely like do wall supported handstand push-ups that's what I do uh, but right now we're just gonna do pike push-ups which is uh, basically like the start of a dive arm push-up but you get straight like this and you just push up and that's a pike push-up just do 10 of these You'd probably be going slower than I am, but I'm just trying to show you real quick. I'm not really trying to get into a hardcore workout right now. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my short little workout. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below on Damien's channel. I'll be looking for comments, for questions and stuff, and uh, I'll reply. Normally, I would do four sets of this. Uh, and I would have more exercises, but we're not, we don't have dip bars right now. Uh, but you just gotta make the best of what you have. My cat is wanting to get in the video here. Really use your environment and try to come up with exercises to use. Uh, I hope this workout was challenging enough for you to make some gains. Number one thing to focus on is time under tension and eccentrics, which means going slowly on the stretching phase, like. What I mean by stretching is your, your tricep stretches when it's going like this. Um, it's the opposite for your bicep, but it's not a pull workout. So yeah, focus on eccentrics, time under tension, and uh, you should build some decent muscle using that way. All right, so I do wanna thank Damien one more time for allowing me to be on his channel. Uh, check out my channel, link in the description. Uh, I do parkour and uh, I do calisthenics, obviously. I need to stop saying uh so much. <laughs> I do parkour, calisthenics, and martial arts. So if you enjoy that type of content, definitely check me out down in the description below. I make really awesome content. I make vlogs and cinematic stuff. Uh, I didn't have really time to shoot any B-roll for this video, but I do hope this video was really helpful. This is Dev Connor. Check out my channel, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Thank you.